The U.S. Air Force's crazy plan to turn cargo planes like the C-130 into long-range bombers may have just gotten a bit more practical thanks to the Replicator Initiative and Andoral Industries' Barracuda M-500 cruise missile. Now, if you watch my content, you're probably familiar with the Air Force Research Lab's Rapid Dragon program, which is a palletized munition system meant to equip C-130 and C-17 cargo planes with standoff cruise missiles that they can launch from well outside the reach of enemy air defense systems. Now, the Rapid Dragon program allows a single C-130 to rapidly deploy 12 long-range cruise missiles from two six-weapon pallets, and the larger C-17 can actually carry five pallets with nine missiles each, allowing a single Globemaster III to launch 45 long-range cruise missiles in rapid succession. And this Lockheed Martin-led program was designed around the Lockheed Martin family of AGM-158 air-breathing cruise missiles, namely the AGM-158B, also known as the JASM-ER, and the AGM-158C, also known as the Long Range Anti-Ship Missile, or LRASM. Now, these are wildly capable weapons. Their low observable design makes them exceedingly difficult to detect or target. The JASM ER has a maximum range of somewhere between 500 and maybe even north of 600 miles, where it can deliver its 1,100 pound high explosive warhead to stationary or moving targets using a variety of onboard guidance systems. Its sister missile, the LRASM, doesn't have quite as much range. It likely just a bit north of 250 miles. But these AI-enabled ship hunting missiles can travel in packs and use their electro-optical onboard sensors and onboard artificial intelligence to identify adversary ships at sea and even hone in on the most vulnerable point of that vessel to engage. But this high degree of capability comes with a high cost, and Lockheed Martin has thus far struggled to rapidly expand production capacity. Each JASM ER rings in at somewhere between one and one and a half million dollars, depending on the iteration you're purchasing. And the long-range anti-ship missile is even more expensive at roughly 3.2 million dollars a piece. Now, current projections say the U.S. will have roughly 450 LRASMs in stock by 2026, and maybe as many as 3,600 JASM ERs. But according to war games played out by the Center for Strategic and International Studies, if the U.S. found itself in a large-scale fight with China, it would run out of these munitions in less than a week. In fact, using that Rapid Dragon palletized launch system, you could burn through America's entire inventory of LRASMs in just 10 sorties. And while it would take as many as 80 Rapid Dragon sorties to launch all of the JASM ERs the US would have, because these weapons can be launched from a wide variety of aircraft, that would happen pretty quickly. And that is where Andoril wants to step in with their new Barracuda M500. Now, this is a part of the Barracuda line of air-launched cruise missiles that we've discussed on this channel a few times before. The M500 was actually designed specifically with Rapid Dragon in mind, with the aim being to field a lower-cost, easier-to-produce weapon that you could supplement these JASM ERs and LRASMs with so that you don't expend the entire stockpile in the first week of the fight. Now, like the JASM ER, the M500 has a range of north of 575 miles, but it carries a much smaller payload at just around 100 pounds, which is really small compared to the JASM ER's 1100 pound warhead, but it's worth noting that's still five times the explosive power of a Hellfire missile. Now, the M500 is about 13 feet long, and it's got around an eight to nine inch diameter, making it roughly one foot shorter than the JASM ER and around 1,850 pounds lighter. But most importantly, this weapon was designed to be very easy to produce. Andrew says their production baseline for the M500 could be in the thousands because these weapons were designed to be assembled very easily with very little training and using fewer than 10 hand tools. And those tools, they claim, are the sorts you'd find in any old garage, which they claim would allow them to double production capacity 
anytime the US needs a surge of precision munitions. And because these weapons were designed to be launched from Rapid Dragon pellets, you could use the M500 in conjunction with the JASM ER, the LRASM, or both to create a high-low mix, saturating adversary airspace with cruise missiles of all sorts forcing them to engage as many as possible, depleting their interceptors, taking out air defense and command and control systems, and generally making it easier for American air power to follow behind. And this is not theoretical. In fact, when I spoke to Andrew a few months ago, they told me they had already tested the M500 in conjunction with the Air Force Armament Directorate and the Defense Innovation Unit from a vertical launcher, just like Rapid Dragon. Once that weapon was deployed, it flew autonomously for around 30 minutes before striking a direct hit on a 48 by 40 inch target. In other words, this weapon is in vaporware. It already exists. And now the Pentagon is including the M500 in what they're calling Tranche 1.2 of the Ongoing Replicator Initiative, which is a whole-of-force effort to develop and field a large volume of highly autonomous systems for air, land, and sea applications to be in service by the end of 2025. And it now looks like the M500 will get its chance to shine as a part of that Rapid Dragon program.